Hi YouTube, I am about to start cooking a uh, traditional Japanese dish. It's called Oden and it uh, consists of a lot of seafood and I had bought this package at H Mart and I would say that it was probably 10 or 12 dollars and it's been sitting in the freezer for a little while and uh, decided to uh, thaw it out last night in the refrigerator and I'm getting ready to uh, put it into my pressure cooker so it's got all sorts of different variety of seafoods and what I'm going to do is open up this package and I'm going to cut it up and uh, put it into the uh, into a pressure cooker with some water I'm also going to add in some uh, konjac or konyaku that's what the Japanese call it in Japan and also daikon I'm gonna cut up about half of this large daikon and into bite-sized pieces and put it into the pressure cooker uh, I'll do the uh, also I'll add in some boiled eggs so I've got some uh, eggs here uh, I'll boil them up and then I will uh, take the shell off of it and just add it to the soup and I'll do that uh, after the Oden is all done with pressure cooking so I'm gonna see how it goes and try and follow the instructions on the back so here's the back of the package it says to boil five cups of water in a pan and then add the soup base says slice all the items into two to four pieces except for the tied bean curd pouches put those in whole because they contain mochi and uh, then add two number or add all the cut pieces into the boiling water and uh, cook it for 10 minutes here it says you can add pre-cooked daikon uh, boiled eggs or konyaku, konjak, and that's exactly what this is. Konjak is this right there. It says konjak. So put that in together, and I'm just going to put it all into one pressure cooker and uh, cook it all up. So that's the game plan, and I'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm just uh, cutting up the daikon. What I did was I peeled the skin off of the daikon and I've sliced it in uh, to about half inch slices. And uh, the skin is just about like a potato. And you get rid of that skin and this is what you have. And I've also already put some five cups of water into my pot and this is the pot that's going to go into the pressure cooker and I started throwing some of the daikon in there and you can see that uh, they're bite-sized pieces so that's what I'm trying to cut them into is bite-sized pieces alright YouTube here's a better look at the uh, package of the fish balls and here's the ones that are tied off and they have mochi in them and here's the sauce package I'm gonna take that out and put it into the pot and then it says to cut all these other items into bite-sized pieces so I'm gonna do that next so I'm gonna take out this sauce package and I'm gonna going to put it into this pot you can see I've already cut up all the daikon and put it in with the water and it's in the pot so I'm just moving right along And just in case you're curious, I'll just uh, zoom in here a little bit on the sauce pack so you can look at the ingredients. And it is the concentrated Oden soup base. And that's what the ingredients are right there. Hi YouTube, I uh, just wanted to show you I cut up all of the fish pieces and uh, the fish cake pieces and I put them into the pot and I'm just gonna give them a little stir and put them in with the daikon you can see I cut them all up into bite-sized pieces and uh, did not cut these ones that are tied 
like I said, those are filled with uh, mochi, which is uh, chewy uh, rice balls, and uh, they're very tasty. So looks like I have uh, enough water. It's covered everything right now. And uh, that was five cups of water per the instructions. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this konjac noodle into there. And I've got these uh, two pouches that have two servings inside each. And I'm going to put them all in and then I'm going to pressure cook it. And just in case you didn't see my previous video, each of these blue pouches has two servings of the cognac noodles in it and you can see uh, that they are they're made with a yam so it's a vegetable type of uh, uh, vegetable based uh, noodle you could say noodle in quotes quotations and it's uh, low carb so these are natural cognac noodles and I bought these at Costco and here's the uh, stats on the uh, ingredients. So it's, uh, it's all yam and it's uh, low carb. Okay, YouTube, I put the konjac noodle into the pot and you can see all the other ingredients in there. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna mix it all in, give it a stir and uh, there's plenty of water. The water's covering all the ingredients. So that's exactly what I want. I don't want to overdo the water part of it. And I'm gonna just go ahead and load this into the pressure cooker. Let me come around on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna load all this into the pressure cooker. I'm gonna make sure everything's submerged into the water yep okay that's good to go and i'm going to get rid of the spoon and i'm going to put this lid on and uh let's see there we go all right that thing is Beep, 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 it's in place. And what I'm going to do is come back here. And all I'm going to do is press the button once. I'm gonna put it on a soup broth. Hit it once. Uh, that says 30 minutes. So what I'm planning to do is let it pressure up. Bingo, the Magic Chef has started with one press of the button and it's on a uh, normal heat and it's going to do a high pressure cook on it it's going to do that for it's going to bring the temperature up and we'll know that the pressure is uh that the, that the pressure is on high when uh, this button clicks up and so i'm just going to come around here yeah the pressure is in the uh position so it's going to hold the pressure if it was over on the side that means that's what you would do to vent it but on this magic chef cooker you want to point it this way this way and so it holds the pressure so now, now all I have to do is wait for the temperature and the pressure to get up uh, to pressure cook uh, status and then for 30 minutes it'll cook on pressure cook and then I'm just gonna let the pot cool naturally and uh, we'll know when this button here pops up that's when we know that the pressure is already uh, set so we'll just uh, wait for the uh, unit to uh, start boiling okay so while I'm waiting for the Oden to boil and uh, in the pressure cooker, I'm going to boil up six eggs. I'm going to hard boil them. What I do is I wait for the water to come to a boiling point, And then I'll put six eggs in there. And I'll boil them for ten minutes. And that way they're soft boiled. I don't want to overdo them. 
and I'll then I'll crack them and I'll put them into the uh, Odin soup. Okay, I've had this pressure cooker on for about 15 minutes. You can see that it's still on the soup setting and it's on normal temperature and also high pressure. So I'm just waiting for it to uh, get up to the proper pressure and I'm waiting for this pin to pop up right there, that one. I'm waiting for that pin to pop up. When that pin pops up, this Magic Chef multi-cooker should start counting down 30 minutes. So let's just see if that's what happens. Okay, it's been about 20 to 25 minutes and I can hear the seals are starting to bubble. You can see the pin. There's some water developing around there and it's, uh, you could say, percolating. And just in a couple of seconds here, it'll probably pop up and we'll know that the pressure cooker is at the cooking pressure, high pressure. And then it should start counting down 30 minutes. So let's just see if I can catch this pin popping up. It's bubbling and the steam is going up around uh, the edges. And let's just uh, see if it pops up. All right, it's going up faster and faster. And like I said, it's been about 25 minutes since I uh, start press the, the soup button. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we can see that there's no steam coming out of the left vent valve, so that's a good thing. And as more and more steam tries to come out of that vent, that pin, it'll pop right up. Okay, we're at about the 25 minute mark of uh, since I pressed the button to start cooking and there's five cups of water in there that it's, and it's boiling up all those ingredients. Here it comes. You can see it's, it's all steam coming out of there now. Oh, it just popped up. So that's what it looks like. And maybe in a couple of seconds here, we should start uh, getting a... 30 minute countdown and it's on high pressure cooking and I'm cooking the Oden plus five cups of water and I've got the eggs they're already boiled and uh, things are moving along smoothly very nicely hey YouTube the 30 minute countdown just stopped and the pressure cooker turned off uh, the high power and it went into uh, a keep warm mode. So right here you can see the light is on keep warm right now and there's already a minute gone by and uh, all the other lights are off as far as I can tell so I'm just going to let it depressurize uh, naturally. I'm not going to uh, vent off the steam. I'm just going to let the daikon keep cooking. And when it the pin drops down and I know that the uh, temperature is cooled off and the pressure is off, then I will uh, open it up and check the daikon and see if it is translucent or cooked properly. So now it's been warming for two minutes and it'll probably take about an hour for it to naturally cool off. And you can hear the vent valve kind of just um, chattering a little bit. 
and uh, I'm just going to relax and let this pressure cooker do all the cooking for me. And then I'll peel the eggs and pop them into the Oden. Hi YouTube, I, am, I cooked the Oden last night. My last step was to uh, peel the eggs and put them into the Oden. And I also added in some seaweed. So I cooked it up one more time. And after that, I put it on warm. So it's been on warm all night. And uh, you can look and see, this is how much broth is left in there. It's got a beautiful color. And then here's the eggs. You can see that the eggs have soaked up the broth and uh, the daikon. You can see the daikon is nice and translucent, very soft. And there's the cognac noodles in there. So the cognac noodles, very flavorful. And then all of these uh, fish pieces are in there. Really nice, really tasty. The broth is wonderful and it smells great. And uh, this is a great uh, package that I bought from H Mart. It's the Oden uh, pre made mixture. It's in the frozen section and uh, it makes enough Oden for like uh, at least uh, six servings. So thanks for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe. And I'll be talking to you later. Japanese style Oden. Bye for now.